shouldn't have said I should be in bed. But the trouble on my tongue, trouble's yet to come. Like, back for me, back for me, back for me. But I gave in so easily. No, thank you. This I wish should have come. I should stay strong.
You know, if any one of you has ever seen us before live, you know, we always like to end the show with a big crazy finale. But I'd like to say something first, that's all right. For the last 18 years, as long as we've been a band, there have always been some people that absolutely fucking hate us. Yeah, no, no, listen, I remember, I remember back in high school, the kids made a, um, like an anti-AJR club, it's true, and they used to meet at lunch, they used to talk about how terrible the music was. And uh, I don't know, maybe it was like the Broadway kind of songs we were making, I, I genuinely don't know. But at the end of the day, it made us feel really small. And then, fast forward, a bunch of years later, the band started to get a little bit bigger. We started to have meetings with record labels. We were in their office and they all said the same thing. Okay, they said, eh, we're gonna put you in a room with writers, we're gonna change everything about you. Even today, it's kind of hard to escape. It feels like everyone on the internet has an opinion about the stuff that we do on stage, the weird topics that we write songs about. But every step of the way, there's been one thing that's kept us from listening to those people. And that was our dad. It was our dad, uh, even, yes. Even up until last year, it was our dad that told us to keep going. Keep going, and eventually you'll find some people that see the world the same way you do. And he, he was right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now he's gone. In, in an instant, he's just not here anymore. And my dad had his flaws, but one thing I could say about him is he was really, truly, unapologetically himself. You know, every inappropriate joke he told at a dinner party, every time he embarrassed us by wearing AJ armor to a parent-teacher conference, he was truly himself. And on his last day alive, we were in the hospital, joking around, saying goodbye. We asked him what his biggest piece of life advice was. He said, never spend one second of your life not being yourself. Go be the biggest version of yourself. And it's a scary thing to do. But I'm gonna say something right now that I've wanted to say for a very, very, very long time. Fuck those high school bullies. Fuck those record labels. Fuck the internet critics that don't get what we're doing out here. We're gonna be up on this stage for the rest of our life, working on treadmills, making shadows come to life, singing our weird songs. Because finally, Billy, after 18 years, we found a room of people that see the world the same way we do. Because life is really, really short, guys. It's way too short to not be the biggest version of yourself. I wish I was me, whoever that is. I could just be, and not give a shit. Hey, I'll be whatever makes you a fan. Cause I don't know who the hell I am. I think it's too late to figure this out. If I could be me, I would've been it by now. Maybe I'm a stone, a big 